where you have to be a little <laughs> selfish. About it. Um, it would have been a different enjoyment if you would play. Uh, it would have kind of been like last year. I, th I still think I would have played, you know, 10, 12 minutes a game, but uh, I probably would have been as successful as I am. So, you know, it's, it's not going to hurt him. He's still going to go to the next level, do his thing, uh, be a big impact somewhere. So, uh, in a way, it's not, gonna, it's not hurting him, but, uh, it, you know, it's a blessing in disguise for me because it's given me an opportunity to go to the next level and do great things that I've never thought I'd be able to do. So, in a way, you know, it would have been different enjoyment, but, you know, I'm a little selfish. I'm glad that I have to play. <laughs> Josh. Josh. You, know, you guys lose John Wall, and now you have Brandon Knight, who you guys didn't know anything about at the beginning of the year. How would you describe what they've done to this team? Um, a leader, a uh, playmaker, um, down the stretch, you know, getting the ball. He's a, he's a great finisher. You know, he missed a couple early in the season, but uh, it, it, it didn't stop him. As you see, uh, he's making big shots for us now when they count. Uh, he's just matured so much through, throughout the uh, season, and uh, we couldn't ask for a better point guard to have. You know, he runs our team, and he run, he, uh, he's always there for us. He's a great friend off the court and even on the court. You know, he gets us in positions, and, uh, you know, I couldn't ask for somebody better to be playing with. Josh, when he misses those game winners earlier in the year, that obviously doesn't affect his confidence to take them later. Did it affect your guys' confidence in him at all? No, we've always had a confidence. And just like the uh, Prince, uh, yeah, um, the Princeton game, you know, he, uh, what was he, one for eight, I think, or something like that. And, uh, you know, we, we, we had the ball in his hand the last shot of the game. Uh, we always have confidence no matter what, because we see him, uh, he, he's always working harder than everybody else. He's always in the gym late at night getting extra shots up. So we always have confidence in him, even if he has an off game. No, he's going to make a big shot when it counts. You've had such a memorable senior year already with big games with Louisville, Tennessee. There was that joke that you only have huge games against rivals. Uh, then, But then you came up, you had a huge game against Ohio State, North Carolina. What's been your favorite so far and why? Um, all of them. Um, hopefully my favorite will be uh, Monday night if we make it that far. But, uh, you know, just, just get, I guess, just the last game, just getting to the Final Four, uh, you know, taking one step further last year's team, um, going out my senior year at the Bang. So uh, hopefully we continue the run. Josh, did yeah. you start taking basketball seriously? Um, probably my junior year of high school. You know, uh, I've never really, I, early, early in my career, I guess my freshman, sophomore, junior year, I didn't really have a passion for it. I just did it because uh, I was bigger and I was good at it. And then, uh, you know, I started building a love for the game. And uh, probably this year, um, you know, middle middle of the season is probably where I guess I, I guess I started loving the game literally. Uh, you know, um, I started seeing success. I started uh, seeing rewards of hard work, and uh, that's probably when I really started loving the game. You know, I've always liked playing it. I've always enjoyed it, but I probably started loving it late this, or probably in the middle of this season. And uh, just from there, you know, that's probably why I'm playing harder now because I got more of a passion for it. Josh, don't take this the wrong way, but how bad or maybe. How clueless was this team when you played UConn in Maui back in November? Um, yeah, they, they, they took it to us. Uh, it, was, it was a tough game for us. You know, maybe maybe as a young team, uh, three games in a row, you know, I don't know how many games we played in that, that stretch, but it was a lot of games in, you know, a short amount of time. Uh, we were a young team then, uh, not very mature, and guys didn't come ready to play. And uh, UConn was ready. They took it straight to us. And, uh, we, I think we underestimated them and uh, just came out and didn't play hard. But uh, both teams have really progressed since then. Uh, you know, UConn's, their, their players are playing great and our players are playing great now. So uh, it's going to be another tough test to come out and compete against them. Two more questions. You think Oriaki's going to have to go look at the program to recognize 55 this time around? Uh, first game? Uh, yeah, we're going to hope so. Uh, first game, you know, there's a lot of people that didn't show up against them. And a lot of people, I think we were playing pretty selfish in the first game. Uh, didn't really share the ball as a team. And uh, this, you know, we've been, we've been playing really good as a team lately. And uh, everybody's been peaking. So uh, hopefully uh, I can do a better job on this time. People are trying to come up with a name for this team. You know, you might have seen a few of them out there. You, you got one in mind? You like one? What are some of them? I've heard payback cats, undeniable, something, a big Payback cat's kind of good, uh, something, something like that, you know. Uh, I guess we're on the road to, uh, you know, payback everybody right now. Uh, the only team we can't get is Arkansas, but uh, it's pretty weird to think about that. That every team you lost to, you got a chance to play them again. So, uh, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty, I guess, relevant, and uh, it's gonna be another tough test. Thanks, guys.